Assalamualaikum. Good day. Student, today we are going to have a very important information. Now we are going to do practical 2. Let's go to the lab. Okay class, now we are going to do practical 2. This practical is divided into two sections. First is section A, cell membrane properties, while the section B is the cell viability observation. Okay now, we concentrate on the section A, cell membrane properties. To observe the cell membrane properties, we need to prepare the plasmia. How we are going to do the plasmia? Don't worry, I'm going to show you now. These are the things that you need for blood smear preparation. You need several of glass slides. You need a well tile. You need a safety lancet. You need a several of uh, plastic pipette. You also need a faucet. You need alcohol swab. Alcohol solution. 100% alcohol solution. This is a clean wool cotton you need the right stain for coloring and most important thing you need a solution A, B and C the okay, most important thing you need solution A, B and C what is the solution A, B and C please check back your lab manual ok First of all, you need to pipette 0.5 ml of solution A, B and C into 3 wells of the tiles. So, you can label your tiles here as the A, B and C. So, I will take the pipette. Three different pipettes. Now I will start by putting solution A. Solution B. And solution C. Okay, since we want to do the blood smear, you need the blood. So we are going to take blood from the finger. Okay, use the safety lancet. Before that, you need to clean your fingertip using the 70% of alcohol swab. So I'm going to open this. Okay. I will swap my uh, middle finger with the alcohol to clean my finger to disinfect my finger. Okay. This is the safety lancet which is there are needles inside. So I just put my finger close to the lancet and picking my finger now. Okay, just one click. Okay, now I have now I have pricked my finger, so I will put the blood into this three solution. Then you can clean your finger, okay, press your finger with this 
our clean cotton wool. Okay. Okay, you can use back your pipette with solution A, mix the blood. Okay, now you can let the blood in the solution for 20 minutes. Then, after 20 minutes, transfer one drop of blood solution from each well into a, a three separate microscope slides. So now, I'm going to label my microscope slide. First is A. Second is B. That is C. Okay, use the same pipette. Now I'm going to put one drop of uh, blood in a solution A at the edge of this slide. And then take another clean slide, okay, put at the edge of the slide, okay, and then you drag the blood solution along the slide. So now you already have smeared your blood. So, do the same thing for blood in solution A and also blood in the solution B. Take another new slide and drag this blood drop on the slide glass. Okay, now you can let this blood to dry and you can use hair dryer to dry up the blood. after the blood dry you can start fix or immerse the blood smear in a solution of 100% alcohol for 3 minutes minutes you can take all the slide out from the alcohol after you take out all the three slide from the 100% alcohol now you can dry this uh, slide or blood smear by using the hair dryer
now your blood smear is already dry. Now you are going to use the rice stain. Okay. Now you can put the rice stain on the blood smear. And let it dry for 3 minutes. Okay, my suggestion if you want to put the right stain, please put uh, the right stain at the sink. So, whenever the excess of the right stain, it can be easily clean. Okay, it, it won't mess up your bench. So, do the same thing for the uh, another two slides. Okay, let it dry for 3 minutes. Okay, now your blood stain is already completely dry. Uh, now, drain off the excess stain by squirting it carefully with uh, distilled water. That's why I suggest you to do at the sink. Okay, it is completely dry. Okay, you can let the slide to dry uh, by using the uh, hair dryer. Okay, class, now your blood smell is ready to be observed under the microscope. Please observe what happened to the shape of the red blood cell when it is treated in three different solutions. Check it out now. Don't forget to check the proper way to use the microscope in the last picture.